This is Dabu7. I want to share with you here some findings on the French Southern and Antarctic Lands Island. The area that you can see here is situated between Africa and Antarctica. This rather large island, as so we're going to zoom in to a region right here on one of these cliffs that shows evidence that there was someone here at some point in time, ancient times, where they had built up walls and had other things in the region. There is the footprint of someone being here in a region that they say right now is mainly uninhabited. The only individuals that they have on the island right now, they state, are scientists and researchers. They keep somewhere between 45 to 100 and they are down in other areas in the flats in areas that they can access from ports or by boat. That's the only way in. There's no airports. And as you can see, there's no road to get to the top of this plateau at all. It's at the very top, out in the middle of nowhere. We have the strange footprint formation that something was there. But that's not even the best of it. This is the big find on this island. What is very interesting is that a majority of this island, when you back out, is blacked out or covered in snow. They just all of a sudden want to stitch in snow right here when there's no snow, right here. And it goes to show, after finding a finding like this, they're hiding a lot more. Now, what you're going to be able to see here in this is there's a massive bow and there is a line through it. And there also looks to be some kind of ancient footprint of something else going on right here. You can see how that kind of matches the bow here and a line going through it. So when we start to look around, we notice that there's cutout marks where someone was either quarrying, cutting out massive blocks, or trying to build something in this area. And we also have a massive cave. Right outside that cave, we have this figure eight type of location. And what really sets the whole thing off is this part of the location with a massive wall structure that comes down through here, across through here. And as you can see here, this was made by intelligence, by man. It reminds me of a cartoon character, The Simpsons. The eyes of them, two big round, white circular areas with darker areas in the middle. And a double wall type of region built all the way out and around right between the two. So this isn't a coincidence. This is an ancient site. And the spirit led me to look in this, this area just on a whim, start looking. This is the first area I discovered and then after seeing a similar pattern over in this region, I discovered this. So this looks to be a very old site. In terms of getting confirmation on this, we're really going to have to try to look into trying to reach out to the French government that have control of this, this island. And uh, if you do any research on this and looking up, this whole island chain, it's going to give you some info here and there when they landed in 1700s. They, they, they uh, first put it on the map or whatever and discovered it. And then any other expedition that they, they took out there. The problem is they say that this place was uninhabited, that there was no one before that. This goes back hundreds of years. These are ancient footprints with no roadways to get to the top. No current roadways, no nothing to get to the top of these locations. Same with this area. It is at the top of a peak, a cliff. With no roads or no access. And most of the ports, when you back out of here, there's most of the areas that are inhabited. See how it says Port uh, of France right here? They're all down in this region. Most of the snow and all that is covering this region. But as, you, as you've seen, there are areas that are not snow covered that they are giving us snow-covered images on, like this. If I tried to zoom into any of these areas, they're covered. So just imagine what's hiding behind there.
Now, what drew me in here to begin with was like an X marks the spot. I seen this. It looked like all these roads converging to one spot. And it looked very suspect to me. And as I started to look around, that is when I discovered that there seemed to be a wall that ran down through here. Very old wall running across this ridge top. Can it even broken, continuing to run. And as I followed it down, I ended up here at the top of that other half circle with a line in it. And then that's when I started exploring around and I noticed, hold on, we've got a city here. We have got an old town, an old city that people you were living in, working in. This is old, super, super old. And anyone that's just scouring around more than likely will miss this. This structure speaks volumes to what is hidden here. And look at this. Look at this drawing or something that is etched into the stone almost next to it. Scientists didn't do that. They didn't come up here in the past. They have no account of doing anything like this in the area. When you look at the images of their little camps, they are small camps that are down near the ports. And when you look at this, this was a massive area. This is the footprint of a massive ancient location. And there's not only one, there's multiple locations. So this is what the landscape looks like when you come upon this area. And this is their one little encampment down here by the water where they bring everything in by ship. You can see another shot of the landscape right there. And this one shot really kind of seals the deal for me, knowing that there's a lot going on out here. And it is one of a mountain that looks very much, very, very much like a massive pyramid. And when you look at it, it looks like you're looking at the Great Pyramid in Egypt. And there it is. That is what is right here in the same neck of the woods. And I can't help but think there is some hidden history in this area in massive amounts. This big island that no one wants to talk about that the French control that is very near Antarctica that has massive structures like this and as I've showed you here, massive areas like this that most would say, oh, that's just rocks until you see this. And that's a game changer to me. So we'll see how many give me props on finding this out there because I haven't seen it anywhere else. Literally, the Spirit led me to find this location. And to me, it is very old. And if they want to say that this island was uninhabited they even called called it the desolate islands meaning it, it was so desolate that nothing would be grown here just how old is this site is the question looks to be a super massive site and i can't help but wonder what is in that cave so that's a look at what we've discovered here and there is no talk of any megalithic sites being discovered on these islands at all no mention of what is up here on top of these peaks and this very well could be the first time anyone has laid recognition to these structures in this area so once again i didn't find this anywhere else i found this on my own guided by the spirit we'll see how many give me the proper shout outs down the road when referencing this because, as far as I know, this has never been talked about. There's no images, no other referencing this location, no talking of it, nothing. And it's definitely very old. But stay tuned for more, because believe it or not, we found ancient places even here in America. And if we can work a way out to get to these locations, we'll get the drone in the air, we'll get some up-close and personal footage of these places and it would just be amazing to get here and look at this wall to see how it's built and to really start to say okay who was here and what's in that cave amongst many other questions if you got anything else like this 
You want me to report on, let me know, Dabu7Yahoo.com. Make sure to follow me on Twitter as well. This may be one of the biggest finds I've ever made right here. The footprint and outcropping of ancient settlements and cities here on these ridge lines on this mysterious island near Antarctica. I'll leave links. Until next time, this has been Dabu7. Eyes open.